Hi there, this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm sharing with you the projects I made for the Feeling Punchy collab that I'm doing with my friend Linda, who is Linda Kaufman here on YouTube. And down below in the description box I will leave a link to her channel so you can see what punches she pulled out to use this month. So I pulled out a newer punch and an older punch. And the newer one is this one called Gift Bow Builder. And it looks like that. It's from Stampin' Up. You unlock it so that you can punch. And it punches out a large bow, a small tag, and then a little piece that you can use in the center of the bow in case you want to pop it up. I used the coordinating stamp set with the with the punch and I used these three stamps and I stamped them onto real red cardstock and shaded spruce cardstock with Versamark ink and then used some gold embossing powder to emboss the <clears throat> lines of the, the stamped images. Then an older punch that I used is one of my all-time favorites. It's called Tiny Tags. It looks like this kind of like a little jewelry tag actually and then this set comes with all different kinds of um, stamps and the one that I used is the word Mary and then I used some of this gold cord um, it's just been in my stash for a long time I don't know who makes it? It's probably something that I got at Walmart at one time. And then also from um, Stampin' Up! I use these gilded gems to um, embellish the, the bows a little bit. So let me show you the bows that I made. Let's get those put away. I have them all piled here. I made, um, I used the three uh, stamps and I made two of each in each color. So I've got um, these two in shaded spruce. I stamped with Versamark ink and then um, embossed with clear embossing powder. And then here's the little Mary tag. I also used some holiday uh, rhinestones from Stampin' Up! And then I did the same, let's see if I can find it, the same bow in the same color green, but this one was embossed with gold, and you can see that the green takes on a, a different color. It looks a lot lighter with the gold on there. And here's where I used the gold gilded gems. And then I've got... Um, these two in this version with the clear embossing powder and then um, these two with the gold and what I did is I punched out the bows twice so the second bow is just plain there wasn't any stamping or embossing and then I just put it behind the first one with some dimensionals just to give it a little more um, sturdiness depending on what kind of project I want to use it on and then the two plaid ones one with clear embossing powder and one with um, gold and two of those and then the same I did the same thing with red so I've got the clear embossing powder and the gold. And look how dark um, the clear, the Versamark and the clear showed up on the green cardstock as opposed to the red. I thought that was kind of interesting. And then um, these two pairs right here in the clear and the gold. And again, the gilded um, gems on the gold embossed ones and the holiday or red rhinestones on the clear embossed ones. And here's the plaid and the plaid in gold. So lots of fun. I've got all these 
little bows that I can use on cards or projects coming up, little gift bags or something. So it was um, fun to make these and just have a little bit of stash built up for um, some holiday packaging coming up. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me, and now I'm off to create.